Hey y'all, welcome to this episode of Straight From The Sky. I'm your girl, Case Skizzle. That's Snoop Dogg for Kanique Sky. <laughs> and I'm giving it to you straight with no chaser. In this week's news, we have T.I. Clifton Harris, who spoke at a Georgia school last month and got some feedback from the parents that they weren't too pleased that their children had to listen to T.I. Well, I say that they're right. I think they're onto something. Maybe they should actually have someone who's more upstanding and, and, and more uh, admirable that the kids can listen to. How about a Catholic priest? No, no, no. Okay, an elected official, John Edwards. No, okay. An athlete, Tiger Woods. That didn't work either. Well, I guess nobody's perfect. <laughs> Listen, T.I. is not a bad guy. So what your kids are listening to him in school? I tell you what, check his record sales. That's not the only place they're listening to him. But that's just me. In other news, Elaine Bryant Ed, which features a plus size model, has brought up a little bit of controversy. They are stating that the ad is a bit too risque, a bit too out there, for lack of a better word. But if you put the ad side by side with a Victoria's Secret ad, it's almost identical. The only difference is, is one features a plus size model and the other one features a model who looks like she could stand to eat a piece of chicken or two. <laughs> I don't know. What I say is mainstream America needs to get with the program. The average person is a size 14. So beauty comes in all shapes, sizes, and colors. So I, hang on one second, sorry. This is Kanig. Hi, my own show? I, I just need to lose a little okay yeah I can do that because I agree a thousand percent if you're gonna be in front of the camera you need to watch your way sounds good Thanks. gotta do what I gotta do but that's just me <laughs> an Ohio mother who went missing was found safe and sound in a Miami Beach Miss Tiffany Tahan who is the 31 year old mother of one stated that she just kind of wanted a fresh start that she wanted to try something new her husband said that when he found her he was just glad that she was safe and sound and that he is going to be quick to forgive her I bet he is after he saw what taking care of that baby by himself is like I bet he'll be changing a diaper or two now making a little bottle what you think <laughs> Fellas, if you don't want your wives taking long trips to the grocery store, help a sister out. Pick up a finger or two. But that's just me. And on a personal note, I would like to say a very, very, very big congratulations to my American Idol alumni friend, Ms. Tamaya Gray. You go, girl. Apparently, her and her husband are expecting their first baby this year. I am so excited for them. And I hope he's watching this so he saw the clip before and he knows that he needs to help her out just so she doesn't have to do any disappearing acts. Okay? <laughs> but that's just me. Thank you for watching this episode of Straight From The Sky. I'm your girl Kay Skizzle, giving it to you straight with no chaser. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, Straight From The Sky. Follow me on Twitter, that's S-T-R, the number eight, From The Sky. And hit me up on my website, straightfromthesky.com. I would love to know what you think about what I'm saying, because I'm giving all my opinions, but that's just me. This is Richard's baby girl signing off saying, not even the sky is the limit when there are footprints on the moon. Until next time, y'all. <laughs>